Five best compact 9mm 1911 pistols you should get in 2024. The 1911 pistol is a time-tested masterpiece. Even after a hundred years, the gun remains relevant in various applications. You can see it being used by the military, police, competition shooters, and even civilians like you and me. So, it's really safe to say that John Browning already knew what he was doing when he designed this particular gun. What is so good about this classic platform is that it never remained stagnant. Over time, the gun has witnessed several innovations. Custom shops and big gun makers had their own take on redesigning the 1911 platform without losing its original quality. But this time, let's shift our focus to those 1911s, perfect for EDC and concealed carry purposes. Hello everyone, this is Ted from Line 45. In this video, I compiled a list of the best compact 1911 pistols in the market today. This will be a rundown of some of the most notable compact 1911s based on their overall quality and performance. Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it is a chore, but these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now, let's return to the video. Springfield Armory EMP-3 Let's start with the Springfield Armory EMP-3, which is the company to be the smallest 1911 to date. Well, I don't really have time to place all these pistols side by side, but I do agree that this gun is indeed small. Aesthetically speaking, it is not bad, and it does have a lot of features. The EMP-3 descended from the original EMP, with the EMP-3 being smaller, of course. It is also cheaper and offers a smaller and lighter construction. By the way, the EMP stands for Enhanced Micro Pistol, but I can say that they aren't technologically impressive. Still, they do work which makes them excellent firearms for concealed carry purposes. The EMP-3, as its name suggests, features a 3-inch barrel, and despite its small size, the gun will allow you to carry 9 plus 1 rounds of 9 mm in a small, easy-to-conceal package. Moreover, it is a two-toned pistol, as it features a forged carbon steel slide and an aluminum frame. Unlike other pistols on the EMP lineup, the EMP-3 doesn't include dimples or checkering on its front strap, but it is not a deal-breaker per se. I only just want to highlight this nuance, as you might look for them on this weapon. Even if those features aren't present, the gun still has a convenient weight, around 24 ounces. At the same time, the EMP-3 has enough space for your fingers to wrap the grip. Many overlook this feature, but the EMP-3 has a convenient takedown. It doesn't require tools, which aids in the simplicity of its maintenance and operation. The EMP-3 sports a crisp, skeletonese trigger. I can assume that its pull weight is between 3 and 5 pounds, which is good enough in my opinion. Meanwhile, the reliability of this 1911 pistol is great. I didn't encounter any problems running with its Metgar magazine. But you need to know that this gun ships with only one mag. I somehow think that it is a bit of a disservice since many of my pistols have two to three mags included in their package. Accuracy-wise, the EMP-3 is a stellar pistol. Once you get used to it, you will be able to hit your targets within the practical range. It's not a long-distance shooter, but it should excel in close quarter fights. Colt Defender With its pleasant shooting performance, the Colt Defender proved itself as one of the best 1911 pistols chambered in 9mm today. Based on my experience with this pistol, it is easy to control, shoot, and maintain. It has a light recoil and great reliability even when cycling plus P loads. One of the key advantages of this pistol over other compact 1911 handguns is its price. It is significantly cheaper, but with a quality that was never downsized. Since it has been designed using the officer-type frame platform, its size has been streamlined for carry purposes. It has an overall length of 6.75 inches, while its barrel has a size of 3 inches. Its height has been trimmed too so that it can work for concealment purposes. And if you are asking for its weight, then it's just 25 ounces with an unloaded magazine. I simply like the simple operation of this gun. It is among those fuss-free pistols that you can rely on whenever you need to. It's easy to feed the mag, the controls are there, and everything seems to be in place. I tried different ammo with this pistol, including Federal Premium and Spear. All of them were fired by the Defender without any malfunctions. My Defender is already two years old, but it still shoots like brand new. 
While others think its light trigger pull is a disadvantage, I didn't find it a deal breaker. I mean, the trigger pull of this pistol is 3.5 inches, which isn't really bad for an EDC gun. Needless to say, the gun shoots precisely despite its size. It is that level of accuracy that I expect from firearms made by Colt. Target acquisition isn't a problem, thanks to its Novak front and blacked-out rear sights. Of course, it has a good target retention, given that it has a manageable recoil. Ruger SR-1911 Ruger is definitely a popular name when it comes to 1911 pistols. Their SR-1911 lineup, for instance, has received good remarks from various shooters. It has been expanded, too, with the inclusion of officer-style sr 1991s These guns have two versions. One is a stainless 45 ACP pistol, and the other is a 9 mm. The 9 mm variant of the SR-1911 has a two-tone aluminum construction, and it is the one that I tested. If I compare the two calibers, I find that the 9 mm has the least recoil which is pretty much understandable. It also has a higher capacity, as its magazine has a capacity of 8 plus 1 rounds. The gun is smaller than other SR-1 Time 11 pistols. It has an overall length of 7.25 inches and a barrel length of 3.6 inches. Meanwhile, it has a weight of 27.2 ounces, which is definitely ideal for carry purposes. Needless to say, the gun has a modernized construction, especially if you compare it with the base design of 1911 guns. It comes with an extended trigger, extended beaver tail grip safety, and extended thumb safety. Its Novak three-dot sights, beveled magazine well, and lowered ejection port are all worth noting, too. Aside from these upgrades, the SR-1911 officer style received some interesting tweaks to improve its overall ergonomics and performance. Among them are its proprietary recoil spring plug, bushing-ramped bull barrel, and chevron-type slide serrations. The spring plug works well with its full-length stainless steel recoil spring guide rod. The Ruger SR-1 Time 111 ships with two nine-round magazines. It also has a Novak rear sight and dovetail mount front sight. With its 3.5-inch barrel, the gun can offer a decent sight radius. Approximately, it is about four inches or so, which gives the gun great accuracy even at 10 yards or so. Its trigger is nice too. It has clean brakes, a short reset, and a suitable weight. I can't say that this gun is entirely flat shooting, but it offers accuracy and target retention. Ever since I used this SR-119-11 firearm, I haven't experienced any malfunction, which is proof of its solid reliability. Smith & Wesson Performance Center SWU 1911 Pro Series The SW 1911 Pro Series is another pistol I really intended to include in this list. Being able to fire this pistol 100 rounds or so really made an impression on me that this gun is not just reliable, but superb in various aspects. The Pro Series has different models under its lineup. The one that I tried is an officer-type 1911 chambered in 9mm. Of course, there's also a 45 ACP variant for this gun. This pistol has a solid construction. Its frame is made from scandium alloy, while its barrel and slide are constructed from stainless steel. They have been treated with armonite to resist the elements. With the materials used on this pistol, it's clear as day why it's lightweight. Its weight is about 26 ounces when fitted with an unloaded magazine. Speaking of, it uses a single stack magazine that carries eight rounds of nine millimeters, excluding the one in its chamber. Its frame has a competitive quality. It comes with upgrades, such as its checkered flat mainspring housing and serrated front strap. It also has a high frame cut, which lowers its bore axis for a more natural point of aim. The controls of this gun are fairly straightforward. Two manual safeties are included in this pistol, both of which are ambidextrous. Its thumb safety is somewhat extended, while its beaver tail grip safety is undeniably smooth. I appreciate the inclusion of grip safety on this gun, given that it did protect my hands from hammer bites. The Smith & Wesson Performance Center SW1911 Pro Series is known for its checkered magazine release. It's easy to access, as it is protruding properly. You will also enjoy its three-hole trigger, especially if you are into 1911 pistols due to its adjustable over-travel stop. Based on my experience firing this pistol, its trigger is clean and offers enough consistency. The reset is relatively short, which means that it can do quick follow-ups. 
Wilson Combat SFX-9. The Wilson Combat SFX-9 is an admirable EDC pistol. It's a modernized version of the 1911 gun that features a full-size T6-7075 aluminum grip frame construction. This design is way more solid than those conventional two-piece grip frame construction without compromising the gun's weight. As far as I'm concerned, this one is lighter than steel frame guns. The SFX-9 is available in different barrel lengths. The one I used was a 4-inch variant. This one has an unloaded weight of roughly ounces, which is significantly lighter than those steel Commander-type 9mm 1911s. Going back to its frame, the SFX-9 has an X-Tac tread pattern on its front strap, back strap, and grips. But interestingly, it doesn't have the conventional grip safety that you usually find in 1911 pistols. While it has benefits, I don't think that its absence had affected the SFX-9's performance. The gun's extended beaver tail and grip guarantee a more comfortable and higher hold when firing. Of course, that means minimal recoil and muzzle flip. I also have to note that its bobtail and backstrap were able to fill my hands conveniently. But don't get me wrong, this gun is still easy to conceal. There are key areas on the trigger guard and left grip that worked well in providing a tactile surface for my shooting fingers. There's a two-slot rail integrated into the dust cover of the Wilson Combat SFX-9, which means that mounting lasers and lights to this compact gun aren't a problem. The slide of the gun has a premium construction, too, as it blends the styling of the classic 1911 with modern touches. There are serrations on the top and rear for hassle-free racking. The quality of its sights is just impressive. Specifically, the SFX-9 features a concealment battle sight on its rear and a red fiber optic sight on its front. They function the way you expect them to be. Acquiring targets with this compact 1911 is just a breeze. The gun's 4-inch match-grade fluted barrel ensures its overall reliability. It comes with a single lug that minimizes cycling friction. So, regardless of the 9mm ammo you feed on the SFX-9, it can cycle and shoot them well. Of course, the mechanical accuracy of this gun is unquestionable. It hits its targets thanks to its flat shooting performance and impressive trigger qualities. The SFX-9 includes two 15-round magazines on its package, alongside other premium components. But keep in mind that this gun has an MSRP of $3,000, so it's ain't that cheap. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.